morning. Oh, happy New Year. I think uh, this is probably my first YouTube video. I think this is for YouTube anyway. Um, of 2022 that I'm actually recording in 2022 um time man it just goes so fast um i had a fun holiday time so that was cool my uh my homegirl was here for a month with her daughter so it was good for my kid and for me and girl time and all that stuff but today, um, she's gone, she's gone now, but today I'm just, um, I dropped off Yaya at school, and I am, uh, I went to the grocery store, store, just real quick to get some stuff, because going to the market, even though it's better and healthier, it, um, takes a lot more time so I just get a couple of things especially like um, you know when you can find everything in like one area it makes it easier you save time so that's what I did and I um, while I was in there I saw some balloons and uh, my birthday's coming up, so I bought myself some balloons, you know, the ones that show the year that you're gonna be, like, the year that you are, you get the numbers, and I was just like, it's weird to me, like, I'm gonna be 40, like, 44, what is that, I don't know, man, it just feels like, what the heck, just start thinking like even new year you know with the new year i was reflecting and you know am i where i want to be in my life and all this kind of stuff and so i'm like i'm 40 what do i have you know i have one child i'm married yay you know i have a house now that i own or whatever dang people do not drive man oh they're not gonna let me turn it's reckless Y'all gonna have to let me turn, because this is what it gotta be. I'm sorry. I'm about to bust up. Okay, go ahead. Do what you wanna do. What you wanna do. I can't move, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. I gotta turn, too, yo. Nobody wanted to let me over. This when you have no, no lane, no, no lane respect. Anyway... So I just reflecting and I'm like, dang, you know, like, I feel like I've been trying to lose weight for the past <laughs> 10 years, at least, if that, like, since I was 30. And, um, I don't know, just 39, I was bummed out because I'm like, 39, like, this is it, this is, you know, and I was alone um, here and it was really sad it was a really sad time in the family and here and just in the back home everything was just sad covid everything my 10 year anniversary we didn't get to celebrate it and just different stuff and then now it's like oh gosh this is real like i just time used to go so much slower before and now it's not so it's a it's a scary thing because you know it's not like when you're young and yeah the things you do in your life you want it to affect your future in a positive way and you know like it's like now this is the future this is it like really really and so you know no turning back now but yeah I just feel a little womp womp you know because it's like there's people here, if I wanted to have a party, there's people here who would party with me, but it's like, it's not like my people's people's really, you know, and, you know, from back in the day or nothing, and then I want to
wanted to go home and see my family. My dad has had some health challenges um, the past couple of years and uh, like just before COVID happened. And uh, that's my, my homie. And uh, I wanted to visit. I bought a plane ticket and everything, but then I apparently uh, over there is people getting sick again. So I'm like, dang, you know? So it's even if I went, I probably wouldn't be able to stay with no family. I probably wouldn't be able to see him and stuff. And so it's like a whole another thing. I, I if everything was how I really wanted it to be, I probably would be having in income right now, like steady income, you know, regular steady income, and there will be no restrictions on traveling and all this stuff. That way, I could go home if I wanted to go home every six months for the first couple of years, just to you know, then I could and I could go out to concerts and I could see my friends. But it's like now, it's like, what's the point? I miss home, but there's no home really to go back to um in the same way and so it's like okay what I'm gonna do just wave at people and put a mask on and you know like I don't want to get sick I don't want nobody in my family to get sick or you know because when you start visiting people I think the holidays and stuff is when stuff be spiking over there I mean <coughs> excuse me it's a blessing that you know, to be here in a place where, you know, people seem to be healthy right now, and, you know, it's, it's I mean, I, I mean, it's, it seems, I guess it's rare for the world right now to be in, living in conditions such as these, you know, to be able to go to concerts and, and different things, and so I appreciate that, but it's still not home, you know, I just, um, dang. I just don't, you don't let me go motorcycle people. Anyway, um, yeah, so just like my birthday and everything is making me a little, I want to enjoy, you know, and, um, and I mean, 40 is not like what it was back in the 60s and 70s and stuff, but at the same time, it's like still real, and I'm like, I gotta, it's like a milestone, I, you can't pretend that it's not, you know, at least I can. So I'm like, man, even if somebody wanted to throw me a surprise party, nobody here, there's nobody here to do that. That's not really my husband's <coughs> field of expertise anyway, but like I want to do something big and it's like, what can I do? I don't know <coughs> if I should just keep it low key. But then it's like, you only get one 40th birthday. I don't know. So, I might make it a whole month celebration. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just know I got to do something. And whatever I do, it's, it's up to me. Because if I leave it up to other people, I might be disappointed. So, anyway. Just been thinking and, you know, I was reminiscing about or reflecting about the year and my goals and I have all that stuff and as soon as <coughs> excuse me I had the flu or something um I was sick for a couple of days in the bed so today is my first day like up and up and like out I couldn't even take yeah I had a school Monday and Tuesday but yesterday it was like barely but I still stayed home all day but today I finally was able to do an errand, something to help out, <coughs> excuse me, and contribute to the house by getting groceries and everything. So yeah, like I bought the little balloons and the candles and the happy birthday stuff. It's my daughter's birthday actually, two days after mine, but I'm like, eh, it's about me this time. <laughs> I just feel, like I feel like 40 is young in the sense that I have life to live and everything. But then it's just like, 
<coughs> I'm, an, I'm an adult, like, full on. But I don't feel like it. Like, I feel hecka young. I don't know. Do y'all feel like that? <coughs> Let me stop coughing and drink some water. I'll be back. Anyway, I was telling um, my husband the, yesterday, just yesterday, that I missed certain things. I was watching somebody on YouTube who was living in Ghana and they moved back to their country and um, or they were in Ghana for a little while or a couple of years and went back to their country and you know just watching them doing their day to day in Europe they were going to the store and kickboxing class and taking the kids to swim lessons and it's like I kind of miss certain things this big I hope the pig move anyway um little baby pig in front of me but I just hope I'm, I just wish that I could you know check stuff off my list boom this is done boom the house is decorated boom I bought a pool table boom you know but it's like everything is slow like Boom, I got the refrigerator that I want. No, we got three refrigerators. Just till them got the one we want. So anyway, I don't know what I'm really saying. I don't know what kind of video this is really. I just feel my feelings. And I think that I will have a great birthday, I hope. But I mean, I mean I'm sure I will. I just um feel like, man, 40. Sheesh. I mean, I have friends that are over 40. Oh, sorry. Backing up. Okay. Just pulled in. I'm, I mean, I have friends who are 40 and 50 and stuff. But it's just like... I don't know. I don't really know. But anyway. I'm glad I'm alive. I'm, I feel blessed, you know, to make it this far. Some people don't. It's just when you're a kid and you hear 40. I remember when my parents turned 40. Like, it just seems like some different. But then when it's you, you're like, I'm not that, you know. So anyway, I just hope that um I can make 
the best out of everything, you know, being away from home and this new milestone and everything's new. Like, what did I do? I quit my job and stuff. Like, what the heck? I don't know. Like, <coughs> like it's dust in my throat. There's no water in here. But yeah, I just, I just want to feel at home here. I don't know how many years that will take. I guess in the meantime, people will come visit me. Um, but I want to be, you know, healthy. <coughs> and, um. I don't know. Sometimes you just wish that you can go back in time and do stuff differently or not worry about certain things. And now it's like, what? What was I doing? Anyway, <coughs> let me go because I keep coughing. <coughs> yeah, I had a backache, an eye ache. It was like crazy flu. I think I got it from my housekeeper. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna go do some yoga, eat breakfast, um, figure out what I'm gonna do today. And, uh, all before I have to pick her up from school. Alright. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. I don't even know if I made any sense, but that's just what I've been feeling. Talk to y'all later. Peace out. Black people, we the coolest. We the baddest. We the flyest. We the realest. I love y'all. Peace.